I was very impressed with the Arsenal miniatures before we fired them. Really cool guns. One thing I noticed from the catalog to the current models, they've actually refined them even more, better attention to detail, better markings. They were really, really neat. I can see why they're so popular. I can also see why they're very expensive because the fact of the matter is, it's extremely difficult to make something like this. This is not an easy proposition at all. The suppressed versions are extremely interesting to me to see if actually the suppressor works. On top of that, I'm a big AK guy. And so I'm really looking forward to firing the AK, and particularly on full auto. And of course, well known to be a 1911 guy with my gunsmithing and whatnot. TAC TV fans know this. So it'll be interesting to shoot the 1911 and see if it actually works. All right, Dimitri and I both agree that since it's fitting that we have Americans here visiting in Russia, that it would be classic for us to use a 1911 as the first miniature we fire. And here it is. Half scale. Let's, let's. Get to this. 45 ACP, half scale. Here we go. And a half scale target. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, this is pretty cool. To be honest with you, I was stunned when the 1911 worked. It, missed, it never missed a beat. I'm ready for a reload, Dimitri. <laughs> look at the look at the group. I would have bet money against that, that the 1911 would work that well. It was very impressive. That was very, very cool. Next up, Desert Eagle 44 Magnum. Half size. Reload time. Okay, next one up is Dimitri's original, the Thompson. All right, here we go. Another thing that impressed me was the fact that full auto guns worked and the suppressors worked as advertised. Make no mistake, it is extremely cool when you're holding a half scale AK with a suppressor on full auto and the thing goes bang. That is cool, I gotta admit, one of the most impressive things I've ever fired. If I had to pick one favorite of them all, I know you guys would probably think it would be the 1911, it would have to be the AKM. The AKM with the suppressor, the underbarrel grenade launcher, the fact that it fires select fire. It honestly, it don't get much cooler than that. In the world of miniatures, that to me is the king. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.